Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be making these no bake, these Betty Crocker no bake cookie dough bites. We bought these at Walmart. They were only two dollars and ninety eight cents a piece, which I don't think that's too bad. But and it's safe to eat raw. They're ready in 15 minutes or less. That's how basically how long it takes to mix them up. And you do need butter and cream cheese. And I'll, I'll tell you that in just a second. So we have birthday cake with vanilla flavored drizzle. We have a cookies and cream with vanilla flavored drizzle. And we have a chocolatey brownie with chocolatey drizzle. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, calories and stuff like that in a minute. It says it makes 18 little uh, cookie dough bites. So the directions are all the same for all of these. You'll need, I'll prop it up there, you'll need a third of a cup of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter. Um, and it does say if you use a spread, make sure it has 65% uh, vegetable oil. So what I've got is I've already got it measured out. Um, all these in. I've already have my, cr my cream cheese and my butter in the bowl. And it says you're gonna place those in a bowl and you're gonna microwave them covered for 20 seconds or until the cream cheese and butter are soft. And then if you have to, microwave them an additional 10 seconds to, to get them um, soft. So um, I'm gonna go do that in the microwave with these balls and I'll be back when they're ready. All right, so these all came out of the microwave, cover them because they can't, the cream cheese may explode just like that one did. So the next step is to really just uh, stir this into that mixture, the, the butter and the, and the cream cheese. Stir your, um, your mix into that and then we'll go from there. So, so you, in the box you get, you get a container of mix and you get some melting chocolate chips like this. Okay, so we're just going to pour this in there. Mm. Like that spoon. And the, everything, you, you didn't want it melted, you just want it soft. Kind of like you do with a chocolate chip cookie or something like that. You, you, you have to kind of smoosh it and mash it. For the here's the um, cookies and cream. Let me tell you what, it's a workout to do that. I mean, it's uh, it's barely got enough liquid to hold it together. That's that's the deal. So it's uh, it's um, it's not fun. So if you've got a um, weakness at all in your hands and your wrists and stuff, that's going to be a hard thing to do. Unless you use a mixer, I'm assuming you could probably put it in a stand mixer and put it on like a dough hook or something, and, and maybe mix it up. I don't I don't know. chocolate browning with a chocolate drizzle so it's going to have a little chocolate bites a little chocolate melting bits out of it all right so you form these into one inch balls and put them on a cookie sheet so you can just so you can put them you know, you're going to drizzle chocolate over them first of all and then you're going to hold this in place here. Uh, and then you're going to you're going to drizzle your chocolate over them then you're going to uh, put them in the refrigerator to cool so you want something you can put in the refrigerator and that you can drizzle chocolate on so a baking sheet with a, a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper on there will, will do the job so i'm just going to roll these by hand and i'm going to let me get Tammy's opinion about what she thinks the size was. Is that about a one inch ball? Yeah, I think that's perfect. I think yes. that's about good too. Yes. are made up so we've got our bowls here to just the microwave these uh the chips the the drizzle 
and I'm, you're gonna do them um, separately. You're probably only gonna do one at a time anyway, but I wanna go ahead and dump these in here to show you how many you get. And we're gonna do these one at a time. We're not gonna do all three bowls um, at the same time because it'll cool, uh, it'll cool off and it won't be drizzle, drizzle-ly. Um, so what you do is you take these, you put one bowl at a time, you put it in the microwave, cover it up with just a paper towel, put it in the microwave for one minute, take a spoon with you or a fork or whatever, and once it gets to be a, a stirrable, pourable kind of te uh, texture, um, consistency, then, uh, then you're done. You may have to add 10 seconds to it um, each time. Like if it's not thin enough, add 10 seconds. If it's still not thin enough, add another 10 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna do with the first bowl. All okay, right, Tammy's gonna drizzle because she's better at it than I am. But I did have to put it in there an additional um, 10 seconds. So. I don't know that I'm better at it, I just, he was, I told him he's more meticulous than me for sure. Okay, so you're gonna- So I'm gonna heat the next bowl up for the cookies and cream. It's gonna be the same thing. So you can see this bowl, I uh, ended up, I got the scraper to get the rest of it. So I did use it all and I actually uh, started uh, putting some on the uh, um, cookies and cream ones. Okay, so now we put this whole tray in the refrigerator. Yeah, it just says cool, so. Yeah, it doesn't give you a, like a certain time. So we're probably gonna give it like 15 minutes and uh, then we'll come back and see how they look. It's been about 15 minutes and I figured I would show you how hard or how easy they are to get off. Oh, very, very easy. And they're very pretty. So I'm gonna get, uh, a couple of each one for Kevin and I to try over at the table. Mine are bigger. <laughs> the chocolate ones are so much bigger. So I'll get some medium sized ones and we'll be back. Well, we have a confession to make. Every time we looked at the directions, I would look at, at this one and I'd say, oh, it needs two tablespoons of butter. Or, yeah, two tablespoons of butter. So I just assumed that that would make needed two tablespoons of butter. And you know what assuming does. It needs so, three. It needed three tablespoons. <laughs> it needed another. So it needed the same amount of cream cheese, yeah, third of but time. it needed one more tablespoon of butter. Right. So, which definitely would have made it moister. Because I was saying the whole time we were doing it, this thing needs just a little bit more uh, butter in it, a little bit more liquid. So the we're still going to try. Oh yeah, they're, they're you know they're going to taste fine. exactly the same. They're just not going to hold together. As well. Right. So when you make them, they'll they'll be easier to stay together. So uh, I'm not going to hold that against them at all. I just want you to know. But first, we're going to try the birthday cake with vanilla flavored drizzle. Um, it says they are 110. I think they're, they're both of these are 110 calories. And mine uh, is 120. 120. So let's try the birthday first. And I have already uh, cut these in half. Cut them. I do too. I know I'm chewing a lot. It's very, very thick. Of course, I did stick half of that in my mouth. Um, it's very, very thick, but it tastes just like birthday flavor. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like when you buy a vanilla, a really good vanilla frosting, 
if you're if you were to like get a spoon of that vanilla frosting and just put it in your mouth that's what that tastes like it does because it still holds over a little bit of that cream cheese flavor mm -hmm. so um, you get you do get a little bit of that cream cheese flavor in there too but it, yeah it's like yeah, like but frosting. it's delicious. It's more like frosting than anything. I, I, I love the flavor. I love I like the a... texture of it. It's very good. So the next one is, um, that was the birthday cake. This is the cookies and cream with the vanilla. Is good. No, it's not as flavorful as the first one, is it? Mm -mm. No, it it is good, but it is like the first one. You would say that's birthday. That's birthday cake flavor. This one, I don't think you would say that that's cookies and cream. I think you would just say there's some vanilla there, but I don't think you would say cookies and cream. No, it's like vanilla and cream cheese. I think they. But it's not as good as the first one. I can tell where they tried, but it just really that cookie flavor. It doesn't come through. It doesn't come through. Yeah, it's no. that, that chocolate Oreo cookie flavor yeah. does not come. It does through. not come through. So these are good, but the birthdays yeah. are bad. And the texture is still the same for both of them. Now the texture of these these it's going to be, be different. different, and we know that. But we're not going to judge them for that. We're not going to hold that no. against them because that's that's totally. I would eat that over the plate. <laughs> it's a pretty good texture. The flavor's good. Mm -hmm. I actually like that quite a bit. That one, when you just had the dry mix, that one had the strongest flavor. Mm -hmm. Man, it's far smell. The strongest smell. <laughs> Thank you. It has the strongest flavor too. It had the strongest smell. Um, for I like me, the, I like the chocolate. Um, a little darkness to it, but I like the chocolate. I think it's a good chocolate. My favorite part of it is the drizzle on top. Mm -hmm. I, I love the drizzle the on chocolate. top. Um, I don't mind the texture of it the way we did it, but when you do it properly it'll be more the texture of the other right. the previous two yeah. um if you like a plain a plain chocolate uh, then there's nothing wrong with that then you're yeah. gonna like that one my favorite of the three is the birthday mine too um i wish instead of doing chocolate chip cookie i mean uh instead of doing cookies and cream cookies i and wish they had done a chocolate, chocolate chip, chip cookie chip. instead it had like little the little mini yeah a little um, chocolate chips, chips. and that, made it really good and buttery and so like that that's i kind of wish they'd done that instead of cookies and cream because cookies and cream is pretty a pretty bland flavor anyway or in the mix if they had had pieces of cookie. of cookie of oreo cookie it, well they do but they're just teeny tiny it was just too small to make a difference yeah. it really was yeah. it, it um it was too small to make a difference. So I agree. The the cook, the birthday cake would be number one. The chocolate would be my number two though, because um, it, it has a it, lot of flavor. Me too. It would yeah. it would be mine too. Just know that uh, it needs a little bit more butter. Um, <laughs> these. Uh, what do you think about how hard or how they're easy they're not hard. They're well the the mix goes together easily, but you really have to work to to squish all those ingredients together because you really have to take this bottom of the spoon and just mush it. So it literally hurts your wrist and your hand. So if you've got problems with your hands, if you've got arthritis or something like that, I can't imagine being able to do that. And Kevin said, we, I probably could have used the mixer, but I said, I don't think so because it specifically used the word stir. Well, if you had a, a handicap where you could, like if you did have really bad arthritis, you'd have to use the mixer. I right. think you could use it. It just wouldn't, I think it'd be fine. You think it would be fine? But after we did them all, I think I could have gone in there and just done it with my hands with your and just hands. mixed with my fingers. I do too. Just as easy um, as doing the spoon. Some things like spoon. this, it's better to just use your hands. Yeah, just get in there with your fingers. Yeah. yeah. So. But I think they're good. I think, I think I'd rather just go buy cookie dough at the store already made. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that has a good flavor. This one is definitely the best. It has the birthday. It has the best flavor. If you like a birthday a cake flavor, a vanilla flavor. I think you'll like these, and I think they're also the most festive, especially when you bite into it. It has a lot of color on the inside, and it's just a very pretty color, too. I think these would be great for a, 
uh, a birthday party. Um, and you could buy those little mini, um, like those mini cupcake holder. Little uh, candy holders. The, yeah, and you could put eat one in each one of those and make it really, really festive. Um, so I just think this is the best one overall. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.